Now we're going to hear from uh, Zico van Dijk um, about uh, the representation of the future in Wikipedia. So Zico, whenever you like, please share your slides and you've got 10 minutes. Can you, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear and see everything. Yes. Great, thank you. Well, dear members of the audience, how does Wikipedia deal with future events? Wikipedia is supposed to offer established knowledge, but the future is not yet established. So how Wikipedia can still talk about future events? To keep an overview for this little study, I'll use my wiki model I introduced in 2021 in my book, wiki, Wikis und die Wikipedia verstehen. By the end of my talk, I will present three distinct categories of future events mentioned on Wikipedia. Okay, now this was actually the slide for it. Well, let's start by making a basic assumption explicit. According to most philosophers, humans can know for sure what will happen in the future. This is because we are part of the universe and can't observe it from an outside perspective. So we can't say if the future is uncertain or if everything is already predetermined. Since we can't know, it's not really important either. There isn't any supernatural being that can tell us about the future. We also can't analyze the past well enough to accurately calculate what will happen in the future. Think of Isaac Asimov and his psychohistory. I suppose that the majority of Wikipedia contributors think the same, but this is only a guess and it would be interesting to research what Wikipedians actually believe about the future. Because of time limitations, I won't go into detail about the texts that I have read to prepare this talk. However, I found inspiration in the ideas of the theorist of history, Reinhard Koselek, and other texts about futurology, utopias, dystopias, imaginations, prophecies, classifications of foresight methods, etc. And if you wonder about this chart, it is here only for proving that I have read those texts and don't simply commit name dropping. Now, let's have a look at my wiki model. Within this model, I have identified the key components that are common to wikis like Wikipedia. So I give you a few uh, seconds in order, in, in order to be not too unprepared. But I do not want to delve into every single element. I'd like to focus on a specific aspect. Wikipedia contributors, so C below, down below, contributors adhere to certain rules when they discuss which topics or objects can be talked about in Wikipedia. So, and typically the contributors rely on expert written sources for their contributions. So you can find this in the upper left corner of the chart. E stands for experts, yes, objects in the world, experts write about it, sources, and the contributors are uh, recepting, uh, reading those sources, secondary sources. So what exactly do the Wikipedia rules state? In the various language versions, I found mainly similarities. The general rules say any content published on Wikipedia should be relevant and verifiable. Hence, you have to use expert authored sources. In addition to these general rules, there are specific guidelines about future events. Wikipedia discourages looking into the crystal ball. The English version of Wikipedia explicitly warns against extrapolation, speculation, future history, and rumors. However, despite these guidelines, you'll still come across numerous examples on Wikipedia where statements about the future are made. First example, in the English version of Wikipedia, there's an article about the 2028 Summer Olympics. When was this article created? Already in 2006, with the assumption that the winning bid would probably take place in the summer of 21. So in 2006, it was not even known in which city the games would take place. In July 27, there was a request to delete the article crystal ball. But the article was kept because there were already announcements from cities that they were investigating whether they would submit a bid. 
documented by reliable sources. One could now further ask, when exactly should one be allowed to, to create such an article? For example, when for the first time a city council decides that the city should become a candidate, or only when a city officially files a candidacy to become that city for that Olympics? And besides, how reliable is it that the Olympic Games will take place in so and so many years? For uh, In history, there has been already the case that the Games were cancelled because of a war. And with the COVID pandemic, we should be even more cautious. So we note, here and in other cases, we are talking about plans. It is important that the planned event and the announcing persons or institutions are relevant. The plan is published in a statement by a person or institution that has real influence on the planning and implementation. Second example. In the Wikipedia in English, there's an article about Halley's Comet. Quote, it last appeared in the inner parts of the solar system in 1986 and will next appear in mid-2061. This is a prediction based on past experience. Natural scientists have calculated this. Similar, similarly, social scientists can make predictions about world population growth, for example. However, predictions are always uncertain because of the many possible factors. For example, it is possible that something will happen to the poor comet on its long, long journey through the solar system. We note, again, the event must be important and it is important who makes the statement? In this case, it is not people announcing their own intentions and plans, but experts talking about external things over which they do not have a direct influence. Expert status is key. And here one can discuss how significant the expert must be, whether an outsider's opinion should be mentioned as well. Third and last example, Wikipedia has pages about individual years, including future years. In German Wikipedia, the article about the year 2050 says, November 13th, 200th birthday of the Scottish writer Robert Louis Stevenson. And this statement about the birthday is guaranteed to come true. Will this birthday be celebrated in the year 2050? Will anybody even think about Stevenson anymore? It does not matter. It is purely a question of definition. Anyone born in 1850 will have his 200th birthday in 2050. This is a kind of truism, isn't it? Well, one can still think of a fourth category, like pure speculation about the future as in fiction, say a science fiction novel. But the actual object here would be the novel. And another example, the classless society according to Karl Marx. That is a subject in itself, a concept from the history of Marxism, a historical, historical object. Or if one considers Karl Marx to be a relevant and credible expert, in that case, the classless society is a prediction. If, or a Bolshevik government proclaims the introduction of classless society, then it is a political program, a plan, no fourth category necessary. So I introduce three categories, plans, predictions, and definitions. And now I take the wiki model again. So plans, that means we follow the statement of a relevant personal institution, see above. The plan and the person or institution are objects themselves, objects of the real world that we are going to describe. Predictions, that means we follow the statement of an expert. Definitions, that means the statement is so logical and so trivial that we don't need an expert or source. The statement can be made by a wiki contributor on her own responsibility. And now, challenge me. Are these three categories enough? Thank you. Thank you so much, Tsiko. That's so much that came out of that talk. Um, that's uh, you know, really fascinating from a philosophical perspective and from an organizational perspective in Wikipedia.